and when you begin listen when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you will be led to the only the Holy Ghost is God Ghost in the earth God today, the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words Holy my name Ghost is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us intro to the only again we will be looking right. at angelic involvement now I'd like to not talk so much about angelic involvement but the fact is they're a big part of how we got here to where we are today and to not talk about them would be doing a disservice to how God actually brought us here angels are directly mentioned in the Bible over 300 times directly mentioned mm -hmm. an angel this an angel that 135 in the Old Testament and 180 in the New Testament that's a lot of times and so I'm in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and all of a sudden say all of a sudden, all of a sudden. I realize that I'm in this room and it's full of angelic beings shoulder to shoulder you could barely move around in there that's how many angels were in there and as I was in this room listen as I was in this room one of the angels turned and looked at me and said to me I have nothing to do with those who don't worship him talking about the Holy Ghost so here we have an angel in this room of Holy Ghost worship you understand that's where I am I'm in this room I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost all these other angels are in this room what do you suppose they're doing worshiping the Holy Ghost because he's God and he said to me he has nothing to do with anyone who doesn't worship the Holy Ghost so by implication we can assume mm -hmm. that he does have things to do with those who do worship him in fact he spoke to me that would be doing something mm -hmm. but if he doesn't have anything to do with those who don't worship him then he only listen he only has things to do with those who do worship him does that make sense yes. say only only them that do he does yes. John chapter 4 verse 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him so these angels have something to do with they that worship him are you getting this so as I'm in there and I'm studying the scriptures as I do regularly daily and I worship the Holy Ghost and my context has changed are you still here mm -hmm. and I'm still in this room and I'm worshiping God I'm obeying what he told me to do I began to hear this word only and it would come up all the time and I'd begin to see it in so many different verses of Scripture I, I liken it to let's say if you got a new car and you thought your car was pretty special and all of a sudden and you'd never seen any around but it's, when you finally got that car guess what it's they're everywhere in the same color how did this happen well you weren't aware of it before and it's the same way with angels be not unaware See, but I'm aware and so I hear this one word coming to me all the time like somebody is speaking it in my ear only 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 I read a verse of scripture only and this happened so many times that I began to call him the only angel and I don't mean that he is the only angel obviously Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve a lot of times you don't even see those words until they jump out at you right mm -hmm. 
and if we say worship the Lord your God who do you think Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost because he is the Lord our God in the earth today and him only shalt thou serve notice if you do the first part of that verse thou shalt worship the Lord your God mm -hmm. then you go to the second part of the verse and him only shalt thou serve so to get to the only are you here I want to shake something in order to get to the only you have to go through the worship part first and when you begin listen when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you will be led to the only and in the only is everything this message is about introduction to only so worship took me to only say worship worship took me, took me to only. only and it will take you there too first Corinthians chapter 2 and this is one of those verses where I began to honestly get a little bit annoyed at the word only because <laughs> it was everywhere mm -hmm. hey I'm just telling you the way it is so first so Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4 my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration or an open show of the spirit and of power what spirit it would be the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost and his power that verse 5 that your faith say my faith. my faith now your faith would be your belief would be your religion it would be it would be your system of belief your faith that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God God who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. and here I heard it again only because your faith should not be in the wisdom of men it should be in the power of God the Holy Ghost only are you here yes. and it's at that point I said okay enough God what is going on what is with this angel that keeps saying the word only yes. he responded by saying he speaks the word only He's an angel who speaks the word only. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but only is a big step for most people. They barely walk through the door of I worship you Holy Ghost, right? They have one eye open. They close one eye and say I worship you Holy Ghost. <coughs> and then they go, uh, and I worship you Father and I worship you Jesus. Because they don't want anybody to get mad at them. Mm -hmm. They're really still confused. Thou shalt worship the Lord your God and Him only shalt thou serve. Worshiping Him takes you into the only. But only is a big step. And here it says, Your faith should be, should stand, not in the wisdom of men, but it should, your faith should stand and be in the power of God, the Spirit, which we just read up there demonstration of the spirit and power that your faith will be in this power of God the Spirit mm -hmm. only when I say the power of God who do you immediately think of Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost well not everyone does look at look at down here verse 6 says we speak how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect that's the first thing that comes up to you then you're bumping up to perfect in fact this message really isn't for them that have not believed the first you can't get to only without going through the room and being in the room of I worship you Holy Ghost because things things change in there you're going from something else where you weren't only and to you I say go back go back to the other messages and then come here when you're ready mm -hmm. so this word only applies and shows up over and over again John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth 
only see how it applies mm -hmm. who are you gonna worship God is a spirit they that worship him it indicates only whether it's written out or not it's applying to it are you getting this angels established the truth that the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today we're talking about angels being involved in transition periods mm -hmm. and angels were involved in establishing the fact that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today yeah. you ready mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1 and verse 9 and when Jesus had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight pretty big deal right mm -hmm. verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel mm -hmm. which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus say this same Jesus, same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven was this a transition you suppose that was the transition mm -hmm. Jesus literally transitioned from being on the earth to going up in a cloud right in front of everyone physically went up until they couldn't see him anymore that's really what it means yeah. and the angel stood there and said this same Jesus will return in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven this same Jesus mm -hmm. and where did Jesus go into heaven mm -hmm. to be with the Father said it over and over again and these angels were involved were they lying no. did it say that no. these two lying angels appeared and said Jesus is gonna go and then come in like manner is that what they said no, no. they're not lying no. well by this we can conclude that the same Jesus has not yet returned do you know that no. which means the same Jesus say the same Jesus. same Jesus this Jesus the one that went up and with the angels there is still at the right hand of the Father in heaven because he's not yet returned does that make sense yes Acts chapter 2 verse 32 this Jesus hath God raised up whereof we are all witnesses remember we just read that mm -hmm. therefore being by the right hand of God what does being mean he's there presently being is this in your Bible mm -hmm. being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear mm -hmm. he was talking about the Holy Ghost coming mm -hmm. on the day of Pentecost where's Jesus it says right here being by the right hand of God exalted with the Father where's Jesus in heaven with the Father mm -hmm. they sent the Holy Ghost to be with us in the earth look at Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them what Spirit gave them the Holy Ghost gave them utterance who is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Holy Ghost unless you want to be unscriptural because Jesus isn't here he's still being at the right hand of God exalted mm -hmm. and shall come in like manner mm -hmm. which is what those angels said Acts chapter 7 and verse 55 this is uh, Stephen he was there preaching and they're about ready to stone him he Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost looked steadfastly up to heaven and saw Jesus on the right hand of God the Father where was Jesus 
in heaven on the right hand of the father where was the holy ghost in the earth, in the earth with stephen are you here yes. there's only one part of the godhead in the earth today and that's the holy ghost mm -hmm. only jesus is not here if someone says he is believe it not Matthew chapter 24 and verse 23 if any man say unto you lo here is Christ or there believe it not is that what your Bible says yes Jesus is literally this is in red letters he's saying don't believe them mm -hmm. if they say I'm here or I'm there don't believe them mm -hmm. why because he knew where he would be yep. verse 26 wherefore if they say unto you behold he's in the desert go not forth behold he's in the secret chambers believe it not I don't believe it for verse 27 for as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be verse 30 and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man where yes. in heaven and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven mm -hmm. with power and great glory mm -hmm. it's exactly what the angels said isn't it yes. has that happened no. did we miss it no. then believe it not verse 31 and he shall send his what angels, angels. again angels in a transition period are you getting this yes. the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today believe that mm -hmm. and if you want to walk with God it will be with the Holy Ghost who is God people are often shocked when I say I don't walk with Jesus he's not here now how can I walk with him but I do look forward to his return mm -hmm. first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 and they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the true and living God when I say the true and living God who immediately comes to your mind the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost verse 10 and to wait for his son from heaven so we're we're walking with the true and living god and waiting for the son from heaven whom he raised from the dead even jesus which delivered us from the wrath to come this is apostolic faith it's what the apostles believed they walked with God the Holy Ghost in the earth and they were waiting for Jesus to return the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him only by saying words it's the only way you do it so I worship you Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is the first step on the pathway to becoming a Holy Ghost worshiper mm -hmm. and using the word only is 2.0 yeah. I worship you Holy Ghost only are you seeing some context yes. to the word only Jesus is not here and you need to let him go mm -hmm. you need to let him go he finished his work and sat down they finished his work he finished his work and sat down and sat down so what is he doing now I like how you said it he resting <laughs> he resting who's the only part of the godhead in the earth today holy ghost who's the only part of the godhead in the earth today holy ghost if you're going to worship the lord your god and him only, only serve are you getting this mm -hmm. it's Holy Ghost only and in the only is everything but this is just an introduction to only and introductions are simply the the first part mm 
in the only is everything second yeah. Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord another translation says even as by him the Spirit Lord how are you changed from one glory to the next glory it is only by him we go from what we were in before to the new glory only by him mm -hmm. and the only only grows but there is a new manifestation of the Spirit coming I'm telling you if you can hear it there is a new manifestation of the Spirit coming and it comes as a direct result of only worshiping him and him only serving and it is a singularity and we're marching towards that singularity Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people causing them to understand and know what it is to be a Holy Ghost worshiper worshiping you and serving you only and the greatness of things present and past shall come together in a culmination in this one last great move of you the Spirit God in the earth and we are so blessed to be a part of it we worship you in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that I'm entering in to the only that you have provided for me only blessed only healed only youth renewed only wealthy in Jesus name amen